Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to be talking about the new Vivid Eyes with Crazy Talk 8.1. So we now have the ability to modify the different areas of the eyes separately, such as the iris or the eye whites or the shadows of the eyes and everything like that. They're all in different layers now with uh, 8.1 and you can modify them separately, which is what we're going to explore in this tutorial. But first of all, let's take a look at the folder structure of our eyes. So if you want to find the eye, Vivid Eye folders, just go over here to your Actor Elements uh, tab, and in Actor Elements, you'll have your eyes right here. And in the eye folder, we have uh, human eyes, uh, suitable for uh, realistic human-type characters. There's also bright and dark eye templates, which we can, uh, we'll get to a little bit later in this tutorial. And there's also anime eyes, which are really good for uh, cartoon anime-type characters, uh, very vivid and colorful. And the comic eyes are basically made for, uh, you know, 2D kind of sketch characters. Uh, like the Gary Pike type faces that uh, you can purchase from the content store. And we also have monster eyes for scary or evil type characters as well. And the last folder here is Others. And in the Others folder, you have the te eye templates for all of our embedded characters, JP, Miguel, Sammy, and Nasser here. Uh, and keep in mind that those ones are not using the Vivid Eye uh, separate layer templates as well. Okay, So uh, only these ones, these four folders, are using the Vivid Eye templates. So that's your introduction to the folder structure of the eyes. Let's take a look at the different layers of the eyes first before we explore the different uh, types of eyes. So to, to uh, go into your eye settings up here, you just click this button over here, and you're going to go into the eye settings, and notice now that we, ha we can select different areas of the eye on this uh, little reference image on the top here. So I can select the iris, and you can see we have a separate diffuse map for the iris. It's just a little uh, you know, blue uh, circle right here. And keep in mind as well that this, there's a separate layer for the specular highlights. So the specular highlights, this is what we're going to modify a little bit later. Uh, you can see there's an opacity map right here. So that the reflection in the eye is actually on a separate layer from the iris itself, which is pretty cool. And you just, it gives you a lot more freedom to do uh, other fun things and customize your eyes in various ways. You can select the eye whites, which are you know pretty much just white right there, and the shadow section of the eye, which is like kind of a gray. And you can also select like the uh, eye lashes right here as well and you can select them from these little radio buttons as well. Uh, one thing I like to do for anime type characters uh, or characters with larger eyes is take this uh, eye shadow section and the first thing you can do is maybe just like lower the brightness a little bit and when you do that notice that we get some more shadows along the uh, upper edges of the eyes there which I think is pretty cool. It adds more depth to the eyes and it looks a little bit more uh, vivid and, and interesting. Okay so that's how you can just modify uh, different eyes on different layers and we'll get into more detail on that uh, as we go along. But let's take a look at the different types of eyes and what kind of characters they're suitable for. So let's just load in Sammy the Cat down here. I'm going to just uh, double click him and add him in there. And this is a kind of character with a large eyes that's really suitable for the anime eye templates. So let's go back into actor elements and take a look at the different anime eyes that we have. So you can see we have these uh, nice vivid blue eyes. Very suitable for this type of character, I, I, do, I do believe. Um, some nice turquoise eyes there as well. Um, these, these green ones are pretty pretty uh, interesting, kind of robotic a little bit. Um, I think this kind of sparkly blue eye, this is really well done. Uh, this type of eye is good for uh, for this type of wide-eyed character. Or if you want to have a color that suits his, uh, his fur coat, his brown fur coat, you can use these brown eyes here as well. So those are the various types of anime eyes. And like I mentioned, they work really well on uh, cartoon type characters that have uh, large eye real estate like, they, like this one right here. Let's take a look at another uh, type of character. Let's go back to my uh, custom actors here. And let's take a look at the two human eyes. So I'm going to load in a uh, darker skinned character uh, right here. And we have eyes for darker skinned characters uh, specifically and for lighter skinned characters. So back to actor elements here. Let's go to the uh, eye folder here on the top. And under the human folder, you can see we have the dark eyes and the bright eyes, which I showed you before. So for you know darker skin characters, they typically have uh, darker eyes. So you may want to go into the dark eye templates and uh, you know choose something like a, a nice brown right here. Uh, you can change the color as well, like I showed you in the in the color settings um, before. Uh, this kind of really nice hazel. I think this hazel really suits her uh, type of skin. Um, and it's, like I said, if you wanted to uh, change the color, you can go into the eye settings here. And then you can select the iris separately. So if I wanted to you know change the hue slightly. I can do that. I make it a little bit, well, probably not purple, but uh, you know, you can do all sorts of co cool stuff with the hue here. You can totally customize it. Um, I'll probably use something like a, pretty close to the original we had there. Maybe a nice uh, yellow and then we can uh, 
I'll take the brightness down there as well. And there you go, just created your own custom kind of slightly yellow brownish uh, eyes there as well. So you can have fun with that uh, depending on your character. Let's load another uh, character, this one with uh, typically lighter skin. Uh, the redhead character I have saved here. And you know, for this type of character, you want to go to maybe the uh, lighter eyes. So let's go into uh, actor elements here as well, and uh, human, and under bright eyes. Now notice that uh, these eyes are typically, uh, the whites are a little bit uh, brighter as well. So if I choose something like a light blue, notice that the whites of the eyes are uh, quite a bit uh, lighter. I like this uh, light green one particularly for this redhead. Now if I wanted to uh, go and select uh, dark eyes, and I use the uh, light green from the dark eyes, you can notice there's a slight difference, like the whites of the eyes are maybe not as bright. So um, for lighter skin characters, we have those light eyes, and for darker skin characters, we have the uh, the darker eyes. Let's give her a nice uh, gray eye here. There you go, so you can see the result quite clearly right there. Let's take a look at another type of character, the comic character. So I'm going to go back to actors here. I'm going to load in this uh, doctor. This is from uh, the Gary Pie Comic Faces content pack, which you can find in the content store. This guy's looking very sneaky. And uh, for comic eyes, uh, you can find those again in actor elements. Let's go back to our eye subfolder here. And under comic, you can see we have, they're, they're very basic. They're just, uh, you know, just typical eyes like this. Um, I like these ones. They're kind of cool with the uh, other circles on them. But no specular highlights on these eyes. Um, this one does have kind of a, have a specular highlight. It's kind of like a sparkle in the eye. But let's take a look at the layers on this one. So if I go into my eye settings again, notice this one here, if I go to the specular map, there's really nothing there. There's no, no opacity map right there. It's just black. So the actual specular highlight, this little sparkle thing in his eyes, that's actually built into the diffuse map. So this type of eye is a little bit different. Um, it doesn't have, it has the option for a separate specular highlight, but it's not using it in this case. Uh, so just keep that in mind if you wanted to you know, modify the specular highlights for the comic book characters. All right, let's take a look at one final uh, type of character, which is the monster character. I'm going to load in this uh, evil monster here, and then we'll move on to creating our own custom specular highlights on the eyes. So for the monsters, again, let's go to actor elements and monsters. And you can see, we can probably just uh, zoom in here a little bit to this character uh, using our zoom key right there. And we can apply all these you know, evil monster eyes. This one here, obviously, very treacherous uh, looking. I like these uh, kind of dragon type eyes there as well. Uh, the vampire eyes, very suitable. And, you know, depending on what kind of monster you have, you can uh, use different kinds of eyes. I think these ones are pretty freaky. Uh, but anyways, that's just your basic monster eyes. And they have the same kind of, uh, you know, eye settings as the human eyes basically and you can customize your specular highlights and everything. So speaking of that, that's going to be the last item of business in this tutorial here. Let's go to our uh, custom actors. I'm going to load in that uh, Speed Racer character that I had at the beginning. And with Speed Racer loaded up, what we're going to do is go into the eye settings here. And in the eye settings, you can see the, uh, like I mentioned before, the diffuse uh, channel right here and the specular channel is different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save out this opacity map and I'm going to customize it in Photoshop. So all you need to do is just select your opacity map right here and let's go ahead and save that out. We'll save it to our desktop. We'll just call it opacity because we're unoriginal. And let's go to our desktop and right click that and load it in Photoshop. All right, so once that's loaded up in Photoshop, you can see it's actually quite complex. If I uh, if I zoom in here to this, you can see that we have uh, you know a very interesting looking uh, set of specular highlights there. If I go to um, you know Crazy Talk, you can see the circle right there, the other circle, and the, the vaguely white, uh, vague white outlines of the opacity map on this uh, section over here and this section over here. So again, if you want to just create your own custom opacity uh, or specular highlight in your eyes. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new layer here in Photoshop and I'm going to go to the original layer. Uh, first of all, I'm going to create, I'm going to go to my, uh, not brush, we're going to go to custom shape tool and in custom shape you can just select, you know, whatever shape you want. In this case, I'm going to choose a heart and uh, I'm going to make sure I'm on layer one here. Make sure that my fill is uh, a nice white color and I'll just layer in heart right over top of uh, the other specular highlights right there, okay? So we got that nice looking heart. And then let's just select the background layer and erase everything here. Or maybe not the erase tool, let's use the brush tool and uh, just use a, a brush that actually has a substance here. There we go. Oh, <laughs> make sure we are at a black color. There we go. And let's uh, 
take out that background. So now we just have a single heart, and if we save this out, let's save it as a JPEG to our desktop. It's called Opacity 2. And go ahead and save that out. And then in uh, Crazy Talk 8, what I want to do is double click that Opacity channel, and I'm going to go to my desktop and find that Opacity 2. And you notice when I load that in, we'll have a different specular highlight in the eyes right there. So we have, now we have these hearts in the eyes. It probably could have been a little bit to the top, uh, upper left a little bit more, but uh, that's basically just, you know, creating your own custom specular highlights on your eyes. You can do neat little creative things like that, and here's your end result. So that's about all I want to show you for the uh, new Vivid Eye templates with Crazy Talk 8.1. So you now have the freedom and the flexibility to customize your eyes in many, many, many different ways. Um, again, if I wanted to, I can go to my eye settings here. And uh, like I like to do with the uh, anime eyes, take the shadows and uh, take the brightness down a little bit on the, sh on the uh, shadows there. Just to get a more in-depth, uh, more depth in the eye balls right there. And uh, there you go. So... Uh, may not be uh, your cup of tea, but I, I do like to add a little bit of depth to the eyes, especially for those anime characters with larger eyes. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. Hopefully you learned a lot. Uh, make sure you check out our other Crazy Talk 8.1 tutorials and our forums over at forum.relusion.com, and I'll see you in the next video.